All right, y'all. I did not even factor in the fact that I'll be making a video today. But y'all know how I look. Y'all know how I be looking. Anyways, anyways, thank y'all for being here. Welcome, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, we are actually going to talk about our October budget. Now, y'all know these videos are backed by popular demand. Popular by a small, dedicated few of you, okay? Um, a lot of you have told me how helpful these were for you and how when I talk about my budget videos, it actually encourages you to go out and do your budget. And some of you actually do your budget while listening, watching, um, you know, in the company of this video. So I super appreciate that because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I got a comment today. Before we dive in, let me just let me just go over this comment. I don't know why I be taking some comment. I don't know. I just be comments be getting in my spirit. This is why I I can see why people say they don't read their comments anymore because they really can be a little bit toxic, even if they're not meant to be. I know a lot of you don't mean them to be. I'm just sensitive. I'm sensitive because I really care about not necessarily what you think. But I guess how I'm being perceived, that's what it is. I do care about how I'm being perceived. So in the video, it actually came out today. Not looking good for the home team, problem with appraisals. Mike and B Moore, who you're, you've been a supporter. You've been a supporter of the channel. But he left a comment that basically said, Come on, Tanisha. You got us waiting on the conclusion and it's almost two months behind. I feel like you're milking it at this point. You don't want this to end and we're just going to keep on tuning in. Yeah, that comment bothered me. No heart for you, Mike. No heart for you. Um, Basically because I'm a vlogger. I vlog my life. I practically vlog almost every day of my life. Between two channels, this channel, Fun and Budget, and my other channel, Sitting in a Tree, you pretty much get my life, okay? Because I have a life, believe it or not, I have a whole job, a whole daytime job. That's why we're in the parking lot right now because I'm leaving work and I know that by the time I get home, it's going to be dark outside and I'm not even going to feel like I have other things to do. So I actually stop on my way to work or I stop on my way leaving work to do this, to do videos sometimes, right? So with that being said, I'm not just sitting around editing all day. Though I kind of am. I do edit in all of my spare times and free time, right? So therefore, videos are going to be behind because life. I My first loyalty is to life. It's to living my life. That's the first loyalty. Um, a video comes out every other day. Even with a video coming out every other day, you see where we are. We're behind. Even with a video coming out every other day. In order to catch it, I have to put out a video every day. In order to put out a video every other every day, I have to quit a job. I'm not quitting a job to make videos, okay? So, I'm not milking anything. I'm not milking anything. I'm not purposely sitting here and saying, what can I make a video about so I can stretch this out longer? No, these videos were already recorded. They were already recorded. Now, because we had a hiccup, what you're watching right now is that hiccup, the whole appraisal thing. Because we had a hiccup, I had to stop putting out videos so videos were coming out because I thought we were going to be finished by July 7th so videos were coming out coming out coming out coming out so that we can have this whole conclusion closer to the sale of the date the date of the sale closer to that date but because we had the hiccup I had to stop putting out videos why because I didn't ever want it was never going to be my intention so that videos would be out and a potential buyer can run into the videos I didn't want that to be that way. Hence, I did not put out videos until we had some conclusions. I thought I was having a conclusion. It was a false start. Now, <laughs> we can march forward towards a conclusion. The other thing about the videos I want to say is this. It's not just about the story. It's not get about the end point. Y'all know the end point. Guys, for any of you who follow my channel and have looked at my community post, you've seen some of the things I did because I talked about it in my community post on my community page, okay? So it's not about 
holding a big secret and making everybody hold on to bated breath to see what's going to happen, you pretty much know what's going to happen. When I think of these videos, I really think that more than anything, more than anything, they are tools. They are teaching tools, not just in what I'm learning along the way of this process, but also what we can pick up vibrationally. What do I care about, guys? I care about everybody creating a life that they absolutely love having. Everybody living a life of their dreams, okay? And I'm trying to do that through the example of my own life. So this, this, this is not about and has never been about me going through an eviction, what happens? Who cares? It's about the fact that in life, you're going to have some highs and lows. But guess what? You can always be victorious based on your mentality, getting your mind right. That's what this is about. And if anybody out there can't see these lessons for what they are, this ain't for you. This ain't for you. I'm not milking anything. I'm not dragging anything along for views. Trust me, 35,000 subscribers, maybe one to 3,000 people watch the videos. There's nothing to drag along with that. These videos are for who these videos are for. And they're for anybody who wants to get a lesson. For anybody who asks me time in and time out, how do you manifest? What is the law of attraction? How does this thing work? I'm trying to show you in action, not just fairy. That's what these are about. I'm not milking anything. I'm not. I don't have time. I don't have time. The reason why... I can't put out a video every single day is because I don't have time. I don't have time. I have to get videos revved up because of things that I know I'm about to do, whether it's going on vacation, whether it's going out of town, whether it's just doing the things that I do. I know that I have to have videos stored up so that videos can still keep coming out even when I'm not available to physically put them out. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. So pardon me, forgive me if you want, for not rushing my story along, for not rushing my story that I want to tell, that I want to tell, because I want the lessons to be received for those who the lessons are for. The lessons are not for you, therefore you're aggravated. Therefore, you're frustrated. Therefore, you feel that I am just milking a story. My story. Let's talk about October's budget, y'all. Because that's what it's supposed to be about. I seriously just got to stop reading the comments. Okay, October, y'all. October. October. In the month of October, I plan in bringing in $12,688 in income. And this is after taxes and this is after payroll deductions, okay? What I plan on doing with that money is as follows. $105 will be going to the HOA. $43 for the gas bill. $190 is the electricity. $160 the water bill. And $222 is for the cell phones. And that is for three plans on my phone. Is that three plans or three users, three people? Yeah, three of us. Internet, $85. And this is for the fastest speed internet that my area provides. I really need to um, call. It's about time. Every now and again, guys, call your providers, call your service providers to see what's the latest, what's the greatest, what's going on. Because even though I'm paying $85 for the fastest service that my area provides, is it though? Is my equipment even capable of handling the fastest speeds, right, that I'm paying for? So I do need to check on that and see what's up with the inter with internet. Are there cheaper rates out? Are there discounts? Are there specials? That sort of thing, okay? Security service, $54. Now, this is one service that I cannot wait to cancel. So I do need to call them again and find out when my contract is over. I called them before. I feel like when I called them, they was like I said, I had two more years left on a contract. I need to call them because I do not like these people. I really don't. Lawn, 
$135 for my lawn. Y'all, I'm going to have him do some work around. The, all right. I got them two Christmas trees. Them two Christmas trees that are trying their best to reach the sky. To reach the sky. They pass in the roof. They pass in everything. I want to have them cut down. So I've been getting quotes and estimates on getting them things removed. And one company gave me a quote of $1,000 to remove both trees. But my lawn guy said two fifty for both trees. Yo, I gave him the go ahead. Like whenever you have time, go ahead and take them babies out. He is gonna um cut them down plus haul them away. So I'm super excited about that because I really feel like it's gonna open up my house um to sunlight and to the freaking pole. I have like the little light pole in front of the house that runs off a of solar, but that thing thinks it's in the dark. It thinks it's in a forest for real. So the light stays on 24 seven. I don't even know how much that costs, but yeah, so I'm excited about that. Housekeeping, 175 bucks. I'm only getting them once a month. Insurance, $327, and that is for my car insurance, that is for my house insurance, and that is also for the insurance of somebody else that I pay for. Personal property taxes, is that time of the year again, $350. Now, I can't remember if this is the actual amount or if this is an amount that I paid last year, so I kind of just moved it over the, this year to be about that amount, but anyways... I got to make sure that I go ahead and go in there because I believe the personal property taxes are due around October 5th. So I need to look at that. Easy Pass, $35. Subscription Services, $33. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, because of y'all holding me accountable, I finally got rid of vidIQ. And so therefore, we were able to lower our subscription services by $10 a month. So yay. Don't even miss it. Don't even miss it. Groceries, restaurants, household miscellaneous, and fun miscellaneous. Here is when I do mindful spinning. I just really try to be super mindful. And really, what that means is complain anytime I got to pull out my wallet and, and, and spend money on something. <laughs> I do not like spending money, y'all. One way to... um. Get me like rolling my eyes and everything is tell me about something that needs to be paid for or needs to be done or whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't like it. I do not like it. So I am super mindful when it comes to spending money. So therefore, I don't have to necessarily give myself a budget because spending and overspending is not my problem. I'm more of a saver. And a lot of times I have to actually give myself permission to spend money. Hair, $250. Because yeah, it's about that time. <laughs> nails $80 I was like looking at my nails like how long do we think we can get away with not getting these done hmm. lashes $115 y'all my lashes are throwing up gang signs right now they are like gang 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 cuz yeah they need to be done travel 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 I am setting aside $1,500 for travel. I do not think I'm going to need that much. I don't. I don't. But why am I setting aside that much money? I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. Because mostly everything is already paid for. Hotels are paid for. Flights are paid for. Things are paid for. So really $1,500, i am not going to need that in food or activities. But I guess, I guess I feel like if I set aside enough, then I can really feel like I have the freedom to do whatever I want to do while I'm vacation. But, of course, y'all know me. Y'all know me. My goal is never, 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 never to spend that much money. It's always to bring home and keep more money so that I can apply them to my long-term goals. Is it time to talk about long-term goals? It sure enough is. So, $1,580 is going toward 401k. $200 is going to the health savings account. These amounts right here will max out the accounts for the year. Um, I can't remember health savings account. I think it may be 3000 or 3100 or something. And 401k, I think is 19500 a year that I'm allowed to put aside. So that's what that is for. Um, savings, I'm doing 950 I know I told you guys in a previous video that I don't necessarily have to save money anymore because um, I met all my savings goals. But really, this is for stuff like what am I putting into savings? I know. Whatever I'm sending to my brokerage accounts, whatever I'm sending to um, 
set aside for escrow, like paying on my taxes and things like that. I might have to beef that up because y'all, taxes, taxes. I just got finished doing my taxes. So yeah, I do think I do have to keep saving money to beef up these tax accounts, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Mortgage, $1,536 goes to the mortgage. And then $3,000 dollars extra will go towards an extra principal only mortgage payment because a lot of you know one of my long-term goals is to pay off this house for once and for all um because that's freedom for me that is freedom i'm not truly free until i don't have to until i can minimize my financial obligations okay as much as possible so at the end of the day, this leaves me with $1,563 left over. Now from that money comes gifts. So anything that I plan on giving away will come out of there. And then of course, food and groceries and all of that stuff that I said I do mindful spending on, household miscellaneous, front miscellaneous, and so on and so forth. Now, whatever I don't spend in that leftover money, I get to either send it to my long-term goals, which actually should only be paying down my house. But I don't know. See, I'm such a saver that now I feel like, no, I have to keep saving. I have to keep hoarding money because, ah. So, yeah. So, that's what it is, y'all. That's what it is. Um, talk to me in the comments about whatever you want to talk to me about because I already know y'all going to do it anyway. Y'all probably going to tell me, I don't know. I don't know. What y'all gonna tell me? How y'all feel about what we talked about earlier in this thing about the um, people feeling like um, stringing along the eviction story? But like I said, it's like this is I pretty much daily vlog. The only problem is I'm behind. I'm behind. And then even when this eviction story is over, Y'all ain't gonna care. I don't know. Until the next video, y'all. Peace.